Human Resources Department. Human Resources Department. Human Resources Department. Come in. Hello. Ah, uh, Dr. Cooper, have a seat. Thank you. Uh, I called you in today because your assistant, Alex Jensen, has lodged a complaint against you. So I've been told. But I can't understand what she has to complain about. I mean, she has a front row seat as I make scientific history. But there's string cheese in my mini fridge, and that's for anyone. <laughs> yeah, and just yesterday, I led her away from a life of sexual promiscuity by making her look at pictures of disease-ridden genitalia. <laughs> Cancel my next appointment. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Dr. Cooper, you said things to your employee that you just cannot say in the workplace. Like what? Well, according to Ms. Jensen, you said that she was a slave to her biological urges and called her an egg salad sandwich. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you you can't say it. <laughs> Oh, I see the confusion here. No, no, Alex thought I was singling her out. No, I meant that all women are slaves to their biological urges, you know? Yeah, even you. You're a slave. I'm a what? Well, you, you, I, I'm just saying, you know, at a certain point in a woman's menstrual cycle, <laughs> can't talk about that either, Dr. Cooper. Your language is entirely inappropriate, and I'm going to advise that you shut your mouth right now. Yeah, what do I, I don't see why I'm the one being persecuted here. You know, Dr. Hofstadter, he was bragging about his sexual desirability to anyone who would listen. You know, and Howard Wallowitz, he spent two years using university resources building a six-breasted sex robot. <laughs> you know, and at the office Christmas party, I heard Rajesh Kuthrapali refer to you several times as brown sugar. <laughs> Hofstadter, Wallowitz, and the last one was Rajesh Kuthrapali? Yes. You no, know, yeah, but in his defense, that wasn't racist. He's also brown. 